Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my technique for marking and sewing a dart in a pattern. This video is part of the Chris a Crop Sew Along, but as always you can use this technique with any pattern that has a dart. You're going to need your scissors, a awl or something, whoops, something sharp um, to poke a hole with, um, perhaps a thick pin or a safety pin. You can see I've already cut out my pattern here. I just have it ready to mark my darts. And normally this would be on the fold, but I had already cut this out before I started doing the video, so I'm just showing you on a single layer right now. But usually this would be done on the fold as you are cutting out your pattern piece. And the first thing you're going to do is notch your dart legs, the ends of your dart legs, however your preferred method, I just like to do a little snip. And then you're going to take the awl or sharp object and you are going to poke a hole, not through the dart point, but just inside the dart point in between the two legs. So as you can see here, that old hole is a mistake. I'm going to poke a hole in between the two dart legs just inside the dart point. And you want to firmly press the awl into the pattern and fabric and then reach underneath and push your fabric up through the awl just to make sure that that hole is nice and visible. Granted, if you're working with a looser weave fabric, it might be hard to see, so you could maybe just poke a hole through your pattern and mark it with chalk. Um, this is generally how I do it most of the time. And you can see my hole there, and I have my two notches snipped here. And I'm going to fold my pattern piece, creating a line between that hole and the point of the dart legs. And my notches are matched up. I have my hole here that creates the edge of the, the fold. And you're gonna start at your notches. So again, my notches are matched. Here's my hole, and I'm going to start at the notches and sew just past that hole, just as we marked the hole just inside the dart point so I know my dart point is just past that hole. So creating a straight line from your dart legs from the notches on the edge of the fabric to just past that hole that we made. And you're not going to backstitch at the end. You want to create a thread tail and then tie off your dart. This will eliminate bulk. Again, we, as you see, we did not match the dart legs. We did not um, trace the dart legs. This is a bit unconventional from what you might be used to, but I assure you this is what is happening in the factory whenever you are, they are making ready to wear clothing. Dart legs are not drawn out or marked. They just poke a hole and go from the notches. Very quick, very efficient. Uh, if you can sew a straight line, you don't really need those, those uh, to trace those dart legs. And of course, a very important part of any dart sewing is the pressing. I recommend using a tailor's ham if you have one. If not, you can just um, roll up a bit of fabric. I know you probably have some fabric lying around. And we are going to be pressing the dart down, always down. And I like to actually press it down and then up and then back down again just to make sure that I have a nice um, flat dart on the front of my fabric. And this is getting a little out of place so I'm going to reposition so that the tailor's ham is completely filling the space of that dart point. And we'll get a much smoother finish. And that is how you sew a dart. It's 
It should look nice and clean and smooth on the front. It comes to a nice clean point. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. And happy sewing everyone. Bye.